We just tested out Cricut infusible inks against sublimation printing, and we'll show you what we found right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? A great, that's what we do on this channel. And today, we decided to check out that Cricut infusible ink. It is everywhere on YouTube, like everywhere that we go. I'm always seeing this infusible ink on the YouTube. The YouTube. On the YouTube. So we decided to check it out and I wanted to go ahead and put it up against sublimation printing and heat transfer to see how good it really is. Step one, uh, unbox the stuff. I'm gonna open it up and see what we got. All right, we're gonna try two projects today. We have t-shirts and coasters. I'm gonna sublimate on a t-shirt and she's going to use the infusible, infusible, ink. infusible ink sheets. And I'm going to sublimate on two coasters and she's going to try the infusion markers. So we'll see, we got similar designs. All right, we're doing t-shirts first. Yep. Whether you want to unbox your Jim Jam? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what you got. That thing is seriously packaged. All right, I got Cricut products to sublimate on. We noticed these t-shirts were 90%, 95% polyester, so I should be able to sublimate on them. All right, what do we got here? Help me flatten it out. All right, so how many sheets do we get? One of each. Right, two so designs, two solids. A blue, navy blue and red. And this paisley. Red paisley. And denim. And a denim sheet. And then these uh, are. That's butcher paper. Butcher paper, all right. So we got like four. Four sheets of butcher paper and a little scrap. <laughs> a little scrap. All right, well, I think it works just like a heat transfer vinyl. So we're gonna cut it out. We're gonna cut out our image reverse. And mirror. then uh, mirror, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna jump into design space and cut out my design on my infusible ink paper. So with this, it needs to be face up, right, and mirrored. Yep, and mirrored. All right, well, she's cutting that out. I'm gonna print my image. So I'm gonna jump into Word, pull up my image real quick and hit print. I'm also gonna mirror it. My image is all printed. Kim is weeding out her image. Stuff kind of works like heat transfer for vinyl. You're gonna wanna put one of these inside the shirt.
an inch from the v-neck. that but underneath there now oh I guess I could Seconds. All right. All right. Now it's supposed to be a warm peel. A warm peel. Is that what it said? Yeah. Oh, got a little hot. We ready? Yep. Go. Ooh, that looks good. Wow, let's see the layer. Alright, that came out that came out way that came out way better than I thought it would. Alright, I'll give you that. Way better than I thought it would. Ugh. Check that out. Hold it close. Hold it close. Stars and stripes, y'all! <laughs> Alright. That will be my shirt. Do, 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 do. Again, this is my sublimation. Here's my little sublimation jam. Hold me close, young Tony Dams. Tony Dams? Yeah. Are you gonna need any tape? Let me get you some. Yeah. I don't need no tape. Fourth of July. How far from the collar? All right, you're, yes, yours is like more like hand? three, three, three inches. You want a tape measure? Nope, I'm good. Looks good, right? Yeah, here. I don't, yeah. Let's, uh, let's tape this because you're using the easy press. Okay. I'm going to use the same settings. 385 for 40 seconds. Damn. Ooh, smoky. Ooh, all the way through. All right, ready? Ready. Looks good too. Oh, look at that one. Oh. Fourth of a July. Shirt battle, babe. Alright, let's go put them on. Alright. Now we're gonna make some coasters. We got these ceramic coasters. Kim's gonna make two. I'm gonna make two. Kim's in design space right now. She pulled up some coasters. And she's gonna do whatever. Do whatever. <laughs> Alright, we're printing my two using a print and cut, but we won't really cut it. Okay, for my coasters, we're going to use laser printer paper on your Cricut mat. You're gonna change your image to draw and you're going to insert your pin. I'm gonna use this cardinal. And I'm going to hit, I'm going to mirror mine. 
Continue. So uh, that's what the marker looks like. Yes, it seems like it kind of ran out of ink partway through. So I wasn't sure I was going to fill it in, but now I think I have to because the marker kind of ran out of ink. All right, mine is all printed, looking sharp. <laughs> Kim's is all drawn, looking rough. So sharp. Yeah, it's like the markers ran out of ink or something. It doesn't stay fully inked, so. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it with a green marker. Maybe it's my marker, although it just came out of the package. Fresh out of the package. You got the marker. All right, the green came out a little better. A little sharper. You can tell it's done with a marker though. Yeah, I wouldn't say great, but better. Definitely right. better than that red. She still has to color it in. Uh, we're using some high heat tape to tape our designs in place. And you said 300 seconds? Well, you're 240 seconds. I'm 300 seconds. Okay, so but your temperature? It's 400. Your temperature? I thought it was three something. Mm -hmm. 400. Alright. So we're going to do 200 of these. things are steamy. So okay. steamy. Can't touch these. They're way, way, way too hot. <laughs> They're like 400 Ooh. degrees hot. And they That's smell stinky. a little warm. Why are they so stinky? Ooh. Ooh. It looks so good. And that one looks good. Oh. No, it still looks good. Even if I flipped it. It came out pretty good. Mm. It looks like a marker though. I mean, it's exactly what we saw on the paper, which is what I thought it was going to do. All right, all done. There's the Cricut Infusible Ink Coaster. Trying to here's, mine. here's both of them, I almost broke them. There you go. And here are the sublimation coasters. Look crisp, don't they? Look hot. Sublimation t-shirt. See how it's got the fadeness to it? Cricut infusible ink sheets. Came out good. The Cricut infusible ink sheets, a lot easier to use than the pens. The pens, they look like pens. They act like pens. You gotta color in all the stuff. It'll just do the outline. I think anytime you're going to print or cut something, it's just gonna look better than what those markers look like. Maybe if you were just simply drawing with the black marker and look, drawing words, that might turn out okay. But this image looks way better with the sublimation because you used your printer. Yeah. Same here, you used your cutter, so it looks way better, much yeah. sharper. Yeah. Well, good job, babe. I oh. look good.
Have you tried Cricut Infusible inks? What was your experience? Leave us a comment down below. If you like this week's project, go ahead and give us a like. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and give us a share if you enjoyed what you found out today. Thanks, we'll see you guys next week.